I'm not afraid to be in front of anyone. I'm not afraid to make a mistake, and I'm not afraid to look like a fool. And uh, I think that's powerful. Hello, my name is Matt Everhart. I am a world traveling street performer. I am, my parents are from the United States. I was born in Germany, raised in Japan. I consider myself a citizen of the world. I'm Banana Man. My act is I'm a full-time busker. And in my act is I do a comedy show. I'm a musical comedy show where I wear a banana costume, I have a loop machine, and I um, do a joke show, comedy show where I try to entertain people. I describe myself as very outgoing, um, not shy at all, and extremely hyperactive. So no, I never thought I would be a musician. In fact, in middle school, in high school, I played trombone, and I was the worst player in the whole band. In the whole concert band, I was the worst one. I, I started busking when I was living in Japan. I had a full-time job. I was a manager of a Burger King, and I was busking on the weekends. I am currently going to Morioka, hoping to make some money. I uh, bought a ukulele before for around 2,000 yen. And I saw a $20 ukulele, and I said, I bet I can make that money back in one day. So I bought the ukulele. I hitchhiked the next biggest town, and I just uh, I just started from there. Made 100 bucks the first day, never looked back. After I just had like an amazing week, and I would like travel, and I'd meet all these people and do all these things, I would go to my job every Monday, and I just hated it. I just hated it, and so I knew I needed to move on to do something else. So I saved enough money for one year's traveling to start busking. This is day one of hitchhiking. And that was three years ago. At first, my mom, my mom's a teacher. She always said, you know, go to college, get a university degree. You know, I did that. I did go to university. I did finish my degree, but you know, at first she was kind of hesitant. You know, she didn't really understand that, uh, you know, it's a way to, to live, it's a lifestyle. And I think now she's used to it. I think now my she's happy that I found something I like to do and that gets me by. I wanted to busk in the English speaking country. I wanted to like, people to be able to understand what I was saying and, um, and I saw online about Australia so I came, I was arrived in Melbourne and I couldn't get a busking license in Melbourne. Like you have to take this class two months in advance or something like that. So I just got on the map and I just came to the closest city and so I drove to Adelaide and this was the last week of the fringe and then I've been back ever since. Australia is the, probably the best place in the world for busking. People really appreciate it. Even people who don't like me, remember. You know, people who will say, man, that banana wasn't very good, but they've remembered. And that is the reason why I wear the banana, because whether or not you like me or not, you don't forget. Well, the biggest challenge for busking is getting kicked out. That's probably the biggest challenge is, is um, I never ask permission. Rule number one about busking, never ask permission. Always just set up. And if you don't get kicked out, then go there again. She's got a red shirt and she's got her hair up in a scrunch. When you put your music out in front of people, you have to take rejection. Um, and you get the goods with the bads. You know, you get people who will say, you suck, you know, and you're like, ah, oh. and then like you turn around and then one minute later someone gave you 50 bucks. So, you know, you have that like the ups and downs of it. What I love about busking is you make an environment that doesn't exist without you there. And sometimes you will play a spot and you will like do horrible and you'll walk out with like a huge hat. And you're like, how do I make that much money? And sometimes you'll put on like the best show you've ever made. And then you look at your hat at the end and you're like, how is that possible? You know, you have to get over that embarrassment. You have to get, you have to jump over that. And so I think that's the first step. People are like, there are people who are really very talented, but they're not willing to put themselves out there and face that possible rejection. And so once you get over that rejection, then it's very easy. Because once you stop caring, then you get the freedom to do whatever you want. The freedom to know that it's okay if it's not good. What gives me the validation is people who actually sit around and watch the show and enjoy the show for longer than just a second. It's a fruit and it's yellow and grows on a tree naturally full of potassium. 
Nothing as long as me can sing songs like me. Nothing can fill up the great King Kong like me. You see me in the fruit section.